So now let's understand the motto of the esteemed Institute Fluent Lingua that we are that we all have been a part of in one way or another. So let me present to you Mr. Pratik Patel, who is going to make a presentation introducing the fluent lingua. Mr. Pratik Patel. Please, please put please uh, welcome to the huge round of applause. Keep this very short and I would like to maybe a lot of you guys know what fluent lingua is about and what the history is, when it started and everything. So I still for the ones who do not know about fluent lingua, I'd like to take you guys through a very short tour through um, fluent lingua. Offer with the history, um, who are the ones who are the pioneers, who are the pillars of fluent lingua. Okay? So um, going to the first one, I'll give you a short introduction of fluent lingua. Next please. Yes, not very long ago, 9th December 2017, that was the date when it was established, it came into existence. And I'm very glad that um, but until, until this date, I was in search of an, um, an institute which, used, which knew its tools, which knew what English is all about, which knew the language up to the core. And I wasn't able to find it. I was, I was uh, not successful in doing that until I got in touch with Dharmendra Sar over here. And um, I was very glad, more than glad, to find that the person who is running this, who uh, knows everything about, uh, about the language up to the core, more than even I know, and uh, he's been to places. So that brings me to the person. Um, uh, the other one, why was it established? Not very long ago, yes. But then, um, as I was, uh, there was a contract, it was coming to an end, his tenure at other place was coming to an end. And um, I think he waited a bit, not a bit, but a long, long time. He, he waited to uh, start this, start Fluent Lingua, because he did not want it to start it like others you can see out in, this, in the city. You can see a lot of people uh, teaching English language without knowing what the language is all about. And uh, you maybe go for inquiries, that you know, or you go to different classes where they teach English, spoken English, anything, IELTS, whatever. Um, you'll find one thing: there will be people behind the desk who'll be like, "I am fantastic," and um, who will call snacks as snakes, and who call <laughs> hall, hole. This hall, they'll call it a hole. So um, I was very disappointed when I went around and um, very disappointed to find out that. But then when I came over here, the reason of establishment, as I said was it was coming to an end and that's why so finally decided that now he has all the tools everything is very sharp enough to uh, give it back to the society after going through that experience of learning the language he had already been doing that before this but then now it was the right time to give it back to his city where uh, he grew up and where he studied english so that's why fluent lingua came into existence and that brings me to the second uh, the next uh, part that is the founder, the one and only pillar of fluent lingua is Dr. Dharmendra Seth, uh, who is um, right amongst us today, and we are really honored to have Sir over here with us today. Uh, while we talk about his uh, education, his uh, further on his industrial experience, his um, uh, classroom teaching experience, and his professional um, development. So starting from his education, well, he's um, I don't know. I can just keep on going, the very first starting in 1989. Uh, he did not start with English like most of you guys over here. He was uh, a student of uh, student in the field of electronics and radio. So he completed that in 1989. He completed his diploma, earned his diploma then. Uh, but after that, right after that, you can see 1993 is when he did his bachelor's in English. That's when he took his first step in the field of English. And then it continued, took the second step, MA, Masters in English, that is in 1995. And um, then he did computer application certificate for that in 2001. And then the very big step, the uh, very important one, which hardly anybody takes uh, to do this. And let me tell you this, before this, he never did something like, you know, uh, teaching everybody without knowing English. So of course, he took the big step, PhD in English, a doctorate. And he um, got his doctorate in 2006, PhD. And then after that, uh, he did um, uh, TESOL, that is known as teaching English for um, the speakers of uh, other languages. So he did a course, a, a course certificate program in US in 2010. And that was followed by 
other course, uh, other grammar courses, uh, one and two, in, again in the US in 2011. And I would like to go to the next one that is his industry experience. That is all about his education. Uh, talking about his industry experience, in spite of him being in the field and um, being in a totally different field than what he uh, started his studies for. For example, as, I, uh, as you can see, uh, he started his studies in electronics. But then he's got experience even more, more than I've got. I've got zero experience in industry. But then he's got in electronics itself, right when he, grad, uh, right when he finished his diploma, one year at GNFC in Bharuj. That was in 1990, and then that followed three years at LNT, um, Hazira, right over here in our city, very close. Uh, that went on for three years. And while doing that, uh, I'll go to the next one. I'll, uh, in the next slide, I'll talk about it. But let me also talk about his foreign visits, because he was also invited to all these countries, USA and UK. Uh, first one in the United States of America uh, on the government's invitation. See, uh, he attended a conference, the Chase Hall Conference. He attended that in Seattle, uh, in Wisconsin University. Um, um, sorry, in Seattle. And he visited all the institutes that were that are run by the university, run by uh, University of California. And that was in 2007, as you can see. And that, so this is all after getting his PhD. Okay, so then he, uh, of course, you know, he's a more valued person who knows everything. And that's why he was invited. Then in 2011, after four years, he was invited by British Council as a very special guest where he presented his research paper in Brighton, England, UK. Going to the next one, uh, professional development work a lot. Um, right here, uh, I'd like to point out the five years of experience over here uh, where he has been a national ex-president um, of the English Language Teacher Teachers Association of India. <laughs> That's for five years. Apart from that, he has also been a founder member. He is he's one of the founder members of LTEX, an online uh, association for teachers of English, and it is run uh, with the support of British Council. And apart from that, this the five years uh, tenure of being a national vice president that was followed by being an ex being an editor of Journal of English that went on for two years, 2013 to 15, and uh, along with that, he has remained a. He has been a paper presenter, workshop leader, and a teacher trainer in a lot of international and national institutes. So you can see a lot of professional development work, um, tons of experience which you're getting. So I can assure you, like with all this, it can never go wrong. Going to the next one, uh, the classroom teaching, uh, classroom training experience, which he is very much associated with right now at the moment. So it actually started after he completed his master's in English. So in 1996, he completed master's. And then he started, He uh, was an assistant, a teaching assistant, in the South Gujarat University in Surat itself, which went on for two years, 1997 to 1999. And uh, he has, of course, conducted about more than 100 workshops, workshops at, uh, on communication skills for uh, corporate clients and academic clients. And he has prepared a lot of students, a lot of students uh, in the city itself, in all these exams, IELTS, uh, TOEFL, BEC, um, and over here he has also trained uh, employees in the corporate field as well uh, of all the big companies out there. You name it, you know, you uh, I mean, you know all of them, I guess. Uh, SR Steel, SR Projects, Adani Project, Adani Port, Vodafone, LNT, Luthra Dying, um, as NJ India Invest, Omnova Industries. There are a lot more I can keep on going. Uh, so that, I guess, is about uh, the main pillar of fluent lingua, Dr. said. Uh, going to the next one, what is the method of teaching over here? Of course, there are a lot of methods out there for the one who say, fantastic, they have a different, they have a different approach to teaching English. But then over here, at fluent lingua, we get the best around the world. That is CLT, Communicative Language Teaching. And this is it's a method, it's used all around the world, first of all. Second thing is, it is used in all the languages. All the languages take this method to teach English. And um, it's, of course, very difficult, you know, but the most effective. You know why? Because it needs somebody who knows the language to the core. Okay? So, as you can say over here, it requires more expertise on the teacher's part. So, you know, the teacher must know his stuff, must know his tools. 
All right. So that's why it is possible at Fluent Lingua and not any, at any other institute out there. Uh, and last but not least, the teachers need to be highly competent. Uh, competent, uh, like native speakers. They can be native speakers, yes. But even the non-native speakers, somebody like me, if I want to join in, then I can join in because um, I'm a non-native speaker. But then you know I know my stuff. So um, I can be the one who's eligible, or maybe anybody out there who's a non-native speaker, who knows English very well, who's been in the environment, um, can be a part of it. Going to the next one, what do we offer? I think um, all, most of you guys over here, uh, you've already done the second and third. There are four levels, English basics, English ahead, English edge, and the last one is English premier. So of course, first and fourth, we already offer that, but a lot of guys over here, uh, in the vacation batches, you went through these courses, English Ahead and English Edge. Apart from that, we also offer uh, IELTS training, TOEFL training, um, also online teaching, and uh, personal coaching as well, uh, which is very much needed, um, seeing the importance of the language English today. Um, at the same time, editing, content writing, teacher training, copy training, you already saw back there, uh, even before Fluent Lingua, he uh, has always heard a lot of people, a lot of corporate clients as well. So that corporate training and teacher training as well. So I guess uh, um, that's what it is. Next. Um, that's everything about Fluent Lingua. I guess uh, that sums it up, what Fluent Lingua is all about. And um, I hope you enjoy further on. And I'd like to thank you all for coming over here. Thank you.